I think that one. Yeah. Well, number 83 in the book, and then it's number 7 and 9 in the little circle. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our midweek worship as we gather here at St. Leonard's. Uh, we do pray that if you're joining with us online, you would enjoy our time together and know God's presence with you as we gather here in His name. We begin by lighting our candles, and I take it Joy's on duty again. <laughs> <laughs> You're the expert on these candles, Joy. I hope so. <laughs> so we begin. We will light a light in the name of the Maker, who we'll lit the world and breathed the breath of life into us. We will light a light in the name of the Son. Who saved the world and stretched out his hand in love to us. And we will light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with him. We will light three lights for the Trinity of love God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting. Gather us in the lost and the lonely, the broken and breaking, the tired and aching, the young and the old, the stranger and friend. Forgive us and heal us, strengthen and renew us, for we are one family with Christ Jesus as our head. Three songs of, of worship for this morning, uh, number 83 in our book. How deep the Father's love for us. And then we're also singing, Let the King of my heart, and who am I that the highest King would welcome me? <coughs> Oh, 
We were going to have a reading talk today, but nobody sat in the chair with the reading. <laughs> we all missed it. Ian, would you like to read if, if Elaine passes your next to you? Is that piece of paper? <laughs> Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. For this reason, I am before the Father. Fifteen from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all, we ask or a virgin, according to his power, that is a work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elaine. You've got names. <laughs> Over the last couple of weeks we've been working our way through some of the book of Ephesians uh, and in many ways we come to the end of chapter 3 which is like a midpoint in Paul's letter for the first few verses he's, he's been talking about um, theology and about the love and the power of God and the power of love at work and he then changes from there and it goes into about how we then are to live uh, as, as people of God. But this issue of love and power and the power of love at work are key themes throughout Scripture. We find them deeply rooted in the life of Jesus. Although God is all powerful, God is also all love. And love and power work side by side, hand in hand. And it's the power of love that we believe in, hope in, put our faith in as we go through our journey in life. Of course, this side of glory, we will never, never fully grasp the understanding of God's power or of God's love. But we are encouraged by Paul to know and to be rooted in that love, to know that we are loved by God. It's the foundation of our faith, as he has said previously, that Christ is our, our cornerstone, the one that we can build upon, the one that we can trust in, that we will be a sure and solid foundation in him. But Paul also wants us to grasp this understanding of the love of God that's the deepest we'll ever know, the widest that's ever been, the highest that will ever be, and the longest that will ever last. I think sometimes, and I'm as guilty as anyone else, we become apathetic, we can become disillusioned with life, with the work of the church. But God wants to renew us to remind us that his love is beyond measure, an immeasurable love. And that love of God wants to live within us. He doesn't just want to be the friend you meet up with at the weekend. God wants to be 24-7, living and working in us and through us from generation to generation, forever and ever. So we want to affirm and encourage people today to know that you are loved. To forgive yourself. Sometimes we, as a church, continually say, oh, we have to forgive others. We forget that sometimes we have to forgive ourselves. 
It's okay to love yourself, for through loving yourself, you're called to love others. It begins by forgiving yourself as God has forgiven you. And through that, the power of love works and enables us to forgive others. Where we have failed, begin again. For you are loved and God is promising us something more than we could ever imagine. Where we've grown weary, ask God to renew us through his love. We will become disillusioned. Ask God to deepen and widen and lengthen our understanding of how deep the Father's love is for us. Let God be at work in you. And be in Christ, growing in him, knowing of his work, knowing what he's done for you. Holding on to that promise that God can indeed do immeasurably more than all we can ask, more than we can imagine, as we allow the power of love at work in us and through us and in the world around us, to the glory of his name. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we come before you to our Father, the Father of a great family, before whom we bring our intercessions, our prayers and our requests. Help us to know more of you know the depth, the height, the breadth, the width of your great love for us and for each other. By your Spirit, Lord, help us to know that we are accepted, that we are part of your family, and that you want us to go and to move in your name to do your will. Help us by your Spirit, Lord, to have a, a greater picture of your kingdom, of your gospel at work, and to put it into practice. You tell us we can ask for immeasurably more than we can imagine or ask for. Lord, we pray for revival. Revival in our nation, a revival of love that works through power to bring about good and just change. We pray for those in positions of power, that they would just not be power hungry, but would also seek to love and to care, to be people of goodness and kindness be gentle with the use of their power, to bring about change for the positive nature of the world. We pray for countries preparing for their elections of a new president. Well, we pray for the, the good to rise. For a positive change. Well, we pray for worlds at war where countries seek to overpower each other. Lord, well, work in the hearts of those who would raise up their swords in anger. And may the power of love soften their hearts and turn them towards the ways of peace. Lord, in your mess, hear yeah. our name. Lord, we pray for your church. Lord, that we would indeed be a, a beacon of hope, a beacon of love. We would reach out with your 
message, your gospel. Let people know that they are not forgotten, but that there is a purpose in life and a hope that one day you will all be gathered in our Father's house. Lord, renew and revive your church for the glory of your name. Do more than we ask for, Lord. Bring about change in your, your church, your people. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious us. And we pray, Lord, for those whom we are concerned about and are knowing our hearts. And Lord, we just pray for them and lift them before you. We pray for Robin and Kathleen at this time. Pray for my sister Tina and her operation to come. Lord, comfort those who are worried and concerned about the future. Lord, for those who have been numbed by the, the shock of news that's been handed down to them, help them to find that place of peace and reassurance. Lord, as well as praying for those in their time of need, we also pray for those who are preparing to be married over the coming days, for the weddings taking place that you're involved in. Lord, that your blessing would be upon all who commit to the way of love. May that love be true and sincere. May it bound and deepen. And enable them to face each challenge of life as they seek to love one another. And Lord, I pray that through that love they would glimpse you as the God of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayers. And for us as children of God, Lord, help us to, to know you afresh to walk in your ways. Amen. Shall we stand? <laughs> oh, oh, stretch. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us share his peace. not of the church, but of the Lord. It is made ready for those who love him and for those who want to love him more. So come, you who have much faith and you who have little. 
you who have tried to follow and you who have failed. Come not because I invite you, but because the Lord invites you to his table. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, faithful God. You answer sin with grace and mercy. You guide our wayward steps toward our heavenly home. You offer healing for the broken, safety for the poor, belonging for the outcast, strength for the weak, and pardon for the sinner. You reveal your kindness in times of sorrow, your mercy even in death. All your people see your works and join with the angels and saints in your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord Jesus, we remember your journey to the cross and the night on which you were betrayed. While at supper with your friends, you took bread and gave thanks. You broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Later, at that same meal, you took wine, and having given thanks for the wine, you passed it to your friends and said, this, this cup, cup is the new covenant, sealed with my blood. Drink this in remembrance of me. So now, following your example, Lord, we take this bread and this wine, the ordinary things of the world, through which God will bless us. As you gave thanks, we too offer our prayer of thanksgiving. For this time and this place, we thank you, Lord, for those who gather with us, we thank you, Lord, for this bread and this wine, we thank you, Lord, for your life and teaching, we thank you, Lord, for your passion and crucifixion, we thank you, Lord, for your death and glorious resurrection, we thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, by your Spirit, you are present with us now. Send your Holy Spirit on us and be on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be to us the symbols of your body and blood, healing, forgiving, and making us whole, <clears throat> so that we may be your witnesses, your living body, loving and serving you through loving and serving those around us. Look, the bread of heaven is broken for the life of the world. And the wine of heaven is poured out for the healing of the nations. The, the gifts, gifts of God for the people of God.
offer our closing response. <clears throat> the bread, we have eaten in the memory of you. The wine, we have drunk for the forgiveness of our sins. The cross, we shall carry until our journey's end. The pain, we shall bear with you by our side. The joy, we shall share with those we journey with. The gospel, we shall live to the glory of your name. Your love, we shall cherish and freely give to show that we are yours. May the blessing of God be with you and with those whom you love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve the world. In the name of Christ. Amen. And may God indeed go with you, whatever you do this day. And if you're around on Sunday, please come and join us. And if you're away, uh, take our love uh, to a local church near you, wherever you are. But we join here again next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. And we'd love to see you. Or to be with us online if you want. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the asses come back. Some of the asses in the world.